and the decision with judgment, the rebirth that's about to happen to you, should you so choose to take this journey, free will, you don't have to do any of this as a, at all. But should you so take to, should you so choose to take this journey, you are going to have an absolute rebirth in the way that you conduct yourself. Why do I keep meeting assholes? Why do I keep meeting crazy bitches? Well, because you're choosing them. That's why. Because you're choosing them. Reevaluate why it is that you choose the people that you choose. Because all of your exes have something in common. There was some Hey everybody, I'm Dana. This is Deep Thoughts with Dana. Welcome to the channel. Come on in, pull up a chair, get you something comfortable, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke, put your feet up, and let's talk about some real life issues through the tarot cards. This is a repurposed video that I did for a specific zodiac sign a while back. And I got such response from that video. And I feel like that video helped a lot of people. And it's a shame just to categorize it to a zodiac sign. Spirit, I'm here to tell you, spirit does not care what your zodiac sign is. If there's something that resonates with you, there's a message in it for you. So if this video resonates with you, then maybe it's for you. And if it doesn't, it's not. So you all enjoy it. I hope it helps you along your journey. Namaste. How are you? How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing amazing. I'm doing pretty good. I cannot complain. I truly cannot. Uh, blessed, right? Just, just blessed all the way around. Just blessed. The good, the bad, it's just all, just, it's just all, right? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dana and this is Deep Thoughts with Dana, Tarot for Intelligent Minds. That being said, if you like what you see here today and you want to see more of it, you ought to subscribe to the channel and most importantly, hit the dinghy bell because... I'm not here very often. I'm not here. I am not. YouTube is not my life goal. <laughs> and I'm not here very often. I read tarot cards professionally all day, every day, six days a week. And YouTube is just kind of like a little side gig for me that I like to do for fun um, because I enjoy it. And I enjoy displaying the uh, awesome power of the tarot, right? So if you want to see more of this, hit the dinghy bell because I'm not alert around very often. And if you don't get notified when I post, um, you'll probably never see me again because I will get lost in the traffic of YouTube Tarot, okay? All right, let's just dive right in and see what the cards have to say, okay? Let's see what these cards have to say. So this is going to work just like it always does. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I will lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about it as I clarify it, and we will sew together a story, okay? All right, you guys, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's talk about this. Spirit, source, universal energy. All right, let's cut three times and see what we get. Can you see these up there? Okay, good. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, six of cups in reverse. This is a card about being unrealistic. It's a card about being stuck in the past. So let's see what we get. First card out, the emperor. Where can we put this? We're putting, see them all. All right, first card out is the Emperor. This could be you talking, um, a, um, relating how you're controlling your life. This could be an outside energy. We'll see. Five of Pentacles in the, in the reverse. Spiritual poverty coming out of the cold. The world in reverse, a blockage. The Five of Wands, conflict to the sun, seeing things clearly, experiencing some happiness. The Eight of Wands in reverse, talking about um, I keep looking up, right, to see, make sure the camera can see these cards. Um, the Eight of Wands in reverse. Movement, action, change. Uh, possibly a blockage, possibly stuck, possibly an inability to communicate. The Three of Swords in reverse. Forgiveness, understanding, acceptance. The Three of Cups in the center of the reading. Reunion, celebration, possibly a support group. Judgment, some kind of decision to the Ace of Wands in Reverse. This Ace of Wands in Reverse is about a lack of inspiration, a lack of motivation. 
Six of Wands in reverse, um, egotism, a lack of success, a lack of reward. Seven of Swords in reverse, mental challenges or breaking free from said mental challenges. The Five of Swords, betrayal, deception, someone trying to get away with something, some kind of sneakiness going on. To the Ace of Swords, not for long though, because some truth, truth is seen and truth is spoken. The King of Wands, this could be, again, an external figure. This could be you. Temperance in, re it could be an energy. Temperance in reverse, something that needs to be healed, a misalignment. To the King of Cups, possibly being healed. The Eight of Swords in your head hard. The Empress in reverse, some kind of creative block. Five of Cups in reverse, moving on. Four of Cups in reverse, apathetic. Four of Pentacles, control. And the Nine of Pentacles, self-sufficiency, independence, gratitude, culmination. Seven of Cups in reverse to the Two of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles. We'll take that too. Ace of Cups in reverse, the Three of Wands in reverse, the Two of Pentacles. The Princess of Cups, the Hierophant in Reverse, the Star in Reverse, the Prince of Cups in Reverse, the Three of Pentacles in Reverse, to the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Moon, the Nine of Swords in Reverse, the Alchemist. All right, we're going to stop with the Queen of Pentacles right there. We might go through the rest of this deck because they literally tell a story in order. That's how I read. Um, I tell a story. Okay. All right, let's let's wrap our minds around this and uh, dig in. Okay. 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 All right. The Emperor. The Emperor to the Five of Pentacles. Tell me what the world in reverse is about right here. What is the world in reverse about? The devil. Right on. The devil. Okay, oops, to the chariot, no less. The devil to the chariot. Okay, the chariot is releasing the blockage. The devil is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. What is the, who is the emperor right here? Is this somebody coming in reading or is this taking total control of themselves? The emperor is about the authority, the establishment, and the control that you have of your life. Sometimes it's about other people. Sometimes it's how you see other people. So tell me who this emperor is right here. Who is this emperor? The Ten of Cups. I think this is you taking control of your circumstances and your situations. Emperor, yep, death in reverse. I don't know now. It could be somebody coming in offering you the Ten of Cups, claiming to have had a transformation, but yet you're resistant somehow. Tell me, so tell me one more about the emperor, please. Three of Cups in reverse, right? Stifled. Four of Cups in reverse, the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I think I get all that. I don't even think I need to clarify that. All right, let's let's read this. We're going to go back to the top. We're going to read it straight through, okay? First right. card out, the Emperor, right? This is about you taking control of your life. The Emperor is about the authority, the establishment, the structure, the control that you have in your life. It's the first card out. It sets the whole tone for the reading. This whole reading is going to be about you taking back your control. Straight up. To the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is spiritual poverty, right? Because being out of control is perpetuating spiritual poverty. So now you're taking control so you can cure the spiritual poverty of the Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Cups, happiness, harmony, and successful relationships. Death in reverse. There needs to be a some kind of personal transformation in your life. Some kind of personal transformation that perhaps you're resisting somehow, some way. And maybe this reading is going to be um, a kick in the ass for you, honestly. The Three of Cups in Reverse, Stifled Creativity, has nothing to do with third-party situations. This is why you cannot create the life that you're trying to create. This is why you can't have the relationships that you're trying to have. Because there is an issue here that needs to be understood and accepted with the Three of Swords 
in the midst of a personal transformation that you're a little resistant to because perhaps you don't quite understand what's happening. Well, we're fixing to break it down. We're fixing to break it down and you're fixing to understand what's happening. This blockage right here with the world in reverse, stand by. Let's do this. Okay. The world in reverse. This is a card about a blockage. In the upright, it's the ending of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. In the reverse, there's a blockage. There's a stone under the world and it can't move forward, right? It's, it's stuck right there. It's a blockage. What's the blockage? Well, see, who you're really dealing with is the devil. This is spirit calling out this person that is, that is posturing as the emperor, right? Spirit is saying, well, the blockage is that you have to face this again, okay? So, because for whatever reason, you didn't learn the last time around. So now here it is in your face again, whether it's the same person or a, this is a, a, a somebody that you have had a go round with before coming back. But whether this attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth is rooted in this relationship, or if this is an ongoing cycle in your life that is blocking you from moving forward into bigger and better things, either way, it's still an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth, something that is unresolved, that is keeping you from closing out this particular cycle of your life, whether it be the cycle of your life with this person or whether it be the cycle of your life of you making bad choices all the way around, okay? The chariot. This is your spiritual vehicle, right? The chariot um, is the vehicle that will take you towards your purpose, the purpose that spirit is trying to create in your life, trying to push you towards, right? It's those voices, it's the walls, it's the obstacles, it's the locked doors, the open doors. Spirit, if you're spiritual, will guide you in the direction that you need to go if you listen. That's the problem, right, is the listening part. So the chariot is the vehicle to your spiritual growth, but you have to pay to play. The chariot's not free. You have to pay to play. What are you paying to get in the chariot? Well, the chariot's a card about determination, self-control, and willpower to take the action that is necessary to achieve success in a particular situation or endeavor in your life. What this is saying what this is saying is that you have a blockage associated with either this specific person or your choice of people in relationships in your life, okay? So there's a blockage in your life because you are attached to something that is restricting your growth, either your choice of partners or this particular person. The chariot says, put in the willpower and the determination to achieve the success that you want. And we will take you out of this blockage and move you into your purpose. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, clarifying the chariot. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse represents the blockage, right? Um, this is not holding title in someone's life. Okay, it's a lot of other things, but right here, it's about not holding title in someone's life. You want to be the queen of pentacles to somebody. The queen of pentacles is the be all to end all in domestic partnerships, okay? The queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. They are the two domestic partners of the tarot, right? She, she, they're both grounded. They both like to be at home. They're both homebodies. All they want to do is work in the garden and improve the house and go on vacations and just be comfortable and secure in the relationship. But in the reverse, you're, you have an inability to manifest that in your life. You want it bad, but you can't manifest it. Why can't you manifest it? Because there is some kind of attachment that is restricting your growth, that's blocking forward progress. What is that attachment? Well, it is. it has something to do with either your choice in a mate, the people that you date, the people that you allow in your energy field, or it has to do with this specific person, whatever your situation is, right? So Spirit is saying, you're not ever gonna get what you want until you learn to navigate your way through or around this obstacle. The five of wands, conflict. 
conflict, internal, external conflict to the 10 of wands, burden and struggle. What is the conflict? What's the burden and the struggle? Well, you not ever being able to get what it is you want and hold the title that you want in a long-term committed relationship because your choices, who you are allowing in your, in your energy field don't match up. They're, they're bad choices. That's the conflict. That's the burden and the struggle. That's the blockage. The sun comes in and talks about happiness, right? Happiness, success, vitality, major arcana. Spirit saying, if you want happiness, success, and vitality. Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, if you want happiness, success, and vitality... You need to choose better. The Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody whose needs are not met. They're not met. Why? Because they make bad choices. Because there's some kind of an attachment that is a restriction to their growth. Maybe your daddy was... Um, maybe you saw your parents or your mom, right? Tolerate or endure... What this is about is how you were taught to give and receive love, your sense of self-worth, um, where you learned your, your emotional modeling from, right? Where you learned your emotional modeling from, Six of Swords in Reverse stuck, right? Where you've learned your emotional modeling from is part of the attachment that is restricting your growth. It's part of the reason that you make the bad choices, okay? And the Queen of Wands in reverse needs not being met to the Six of Swords in reverse stuck and can't move on. If you want happiness, success, and vitality in your life, you need to make better decisions about who you let into your life. That's what that whole top row says right there. Eight of Wands in reverse. This, so let's get back to the emperor, right? Wanting to come out of the cold. Eight of wands in reverse. This is delays, frustration, no communication happening, just, just nothing, right? To the three of swords in reverse. Again, wanting acceptance, forgiveness, and understanding. To the six of wands, victory, progress, and success. Well, This is interesting right here because I see, I see a twofold message here as well. What I see here, what I see here, a spirit continuing the story about the blockage. The eight of wands in reverse. This is your frustrations and your delays to what? To hold title in someone's life, to be the queen of pentacles to someone, right? Three of Swords in Reverse is about acceptance and understanding. When you accept and understand what was set up here about your emotional modeling, the choices that you make in your life, and having the determination to change something about yourself, something about your processes, right? This attachment that is restricting your growth needs never being met, being stuck in this energy. Once you begin to wrap your mind around this, right? The six of wands, victory, progress, and success comes into your life. The three of cups in the center of your reading. This is about celebration. This is about meeting new people. It's about meeting different kinds of people. Interesting. I'm going to go back and address that in just a second. Hold on. Just a second. I'll go back and address Well, y'all don't know what's going on in my head. I got something to say, but I need to finish this first, okay? So the Three of Cups. This is celebration. It's coming together, learning about other people, learning about other things. Um, this is a card about um, a support group. This is a card about family and friends, to the star, hope, faith, purpose, purpose, and renewal. To the knight of pentacles in reverse, stuck. 
So what this is saying to me is that once you wrap your mind around accepting and understanding your emotional modeling and why you keep making the same bad decisions over and over and over again when it comes to the type of people that you allow in your life, the Three of Cups says there will be there will be a refreshing renewal of the type of people that you begin to interact with. It's it's like life changing. Okay, the it, it's it's life changing. Um, there will be a refreshed, renewed perspective about who it is that you come together with. To the Star, purpose, renewal, hope, faith right? The star is about your purpose. It's right underneath the chariot and the queen of pentacles in reverse. The chariot, remember, is the vehicle by which you get to your purpose by putting in the effort that needs to be put in to stop being a certain way that is blocking your forward progress in your life. The star, Major Arcana, says that the purpose, there is purpose they're trying very desperately, whoever it is I'm talking to, they're trying very desperately to get you out of a behavioral pattern that is blocking success in your life. And the star says, when you wrap your mind around this, it's this, this whole new concept is going to lead you into purpose. What's your purpose in this particular spread? Well, you want to be somebody's queen of pentacles. King of Pentacles, whatever. It's it's being represented as the Queen of Pentacles. You want to hold title in someone's life because it's just a little bit more of a of a snuggly loving energy, right? Man or woman, it doesn't matter. You're the Queen of Pentacles in this reading, okay? Um, the star purpose, right? It's gonna lead you towards your purpose to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, but you're stuck. What are you stuck in? Well, the world in reverse, this blockage in your life that it just, you can't seem to get rid of. Judgment comes in. This is the, I think it's Archangel Gabriel. It might be Michael, but it's, I haven't read the book of Revelation in a long time, but this is um, Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn on trumpet day, on trumpet day, <laughs> blowing the horn on judgment day, resurrecting the dead from the grave. This is an absolute and utter rebirth of you, a rebirth that points you in the direction of success, of your purpose, and it unblocks this cycle that you've been in. What is this decision? It's a cognitive conscious decision to change something in your life. What is it? Well, the two of cups in reverse, the imbalance, the imbalance in relationships that is rooted by your emotional bonding structure that you were taught as a child, okay? When you realize that you keep letting the wrong people in your life for whatever fucked up reason is in your past, I mean, I'm preaching to the choir. I ain't pointing fingers here. I'm pointing right back at me, okay? It took me a long time. I married two narcissists because I'm comfortable with a narcissist. My dad was a narcissist. Bless his heart, bless his soul. He's a good, he's a good guy. Don't get me wrong, but he was only given the skill set that he was given by his parents and then their parents and then forward and backwards, right? Um, he, he was a good guy, but he was truly a narcissist. He was. Um, and I'm comfortable in the presence of a narcissist. It's easy for me. I know how to handle them, right? What I didn't know how to handle was somebody who wasn't a narcissist. And it took me a long time to figure out that the people that I keep attracting into my life are unhealthy for me because I keep repeating an emotional pattern that I was taught. And until you take a step back and you look at everything and you go, wow, man, you know what? My grandma and grandpa who raised me, they were really a good role model for what a good relationship should be, right? Did they had did they love each other? Sure, but they, you know, whoever, your mom, your dad, whoever taught you how to love um 
whoever I'm connecting with right here, you need to go back and reevaluate that situation. Two of cups in reverse. Make a conscious cognitive decision. Two of cups in reverse. To closely reevaluate about what it is that you will accept. Because up until this point, and hopefully not into the future, but definitely up until this point, you are accepting um, the shortcomings and the imbalances. You're covering up and making excuses for bad behavior in your relationships. And the decision with judgment, the rebirth that's about to happen to you, should you so choose to take this journey, free will, you don't have to do any of this as a, at all. But should you so take to, should you so choose to take this journey, you are going to have an absolute rebirth in the way that you conduct yourself. Ace of Wands in reverse, lacking ambition, lacking focus, lacking focus to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, an inability to build the kind of future that you want to build for yourself. Why? Because you are accepting behaviors and people into your life that are perpetuating your needs not being met, perpetuating burdens and struggles and conflicts. Interesting. The Six of Wands in reverse. Lack of success. A lack of reward. Seven of Swords in reverse. This is mental challenges associated with betrayal, deception, deceit, trying to get away with something, keeping something on the down low, hiding something, right? What this Seven of Swords is representing is you repressing emotionally. Um, swords is, is air energy. It's the mind, right? So, so the way you wrap your mind around your lack of success in relationships is to repress all of those emotions and just kind of shrug. Why do I keep meeting assholes? Why do I keep meeting crazy bitches? Well, because you're choosing them. That's why. Because you're choosing them. Reevaluate why. It is that you choose the people that you choose because all of your exes have something in common. There was something I read one time that said, if you want to know what your mental disorder is, add up all of your exes, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So the seven of swords in reverse, talking about breaking free, talking about, I'm sorry, it's not about breaking free. It's about your mental challenges, right? Right? lack of success, lack of reward, mental challenges associated with it to the four of cups in reverse. This is apathy. This is you being apathetic and just taking whatever is given to you instead of taking control of the situation and closing the door. You don't have to let everybody in your life who shows an interest. You don't have to. Not at all. Some people aren't worth your love. They're just not in a romantic sense. I mean, agape love, that's different, right? Love for humanity, love for animals, love for everything. That's different than romantic love. When it comes to romantic love, not everybody is worth your love. Five of swords, betrayal, deception, trying to get away with something. Win at all costs, mind games, win at all costs to the lovers. What this is telling me is that whomever it is that I'm connecting with right here, and I'm really glad this isn't my reading. I've been here. I've done this. I, I, that's why I can speak on this with such confidence. I know exactly what this is and I know exactly what's going on that I'm relating to right here. And maybe that's why I've been chosen to give this reading because I do have a little bit of experience to speak from in this particular situation, right? So when it all costs with the five of swords to the lovers, what this says is that back in that emotional wounding or this, this, this example of what love is supposed to be that you keep accepting over and over and over again that you're stuck in that is the burden and the struggle and the conflict and the blockage in your life where your needs aren't being met where you cannot secure title in a secure relationship what this is is a win at all cost mentality like i just said 
you don't have to accept everybody that comes into your life and whomever I'm reading for here, if you're, if you're looking for a new relationship and one surfaces, you grab onto it with both hands and you're like, yes, this is it. This is it. I've been manifesting this. I've been praying for this. This is it. Well, I'm here to tell you it ain't it because spirit says you're blocked. You will continue this repetitive cycle over and over and over and over and over again in your life until you understand what the problem is. What's the problem? I mean, I've reiterated probably 50 times in this reading. What's the problem? You don't guard your energy and you let blood sucking leeches into your life that take advantage of you because of some kind of emotional misfire when your little brain was stitching together as a kid. Whoever taught you how to love taught you that you should accept bad behavior and just be happy somebody fucking loves you. That's what you were taught one way or another. Doesn't have to be as direct as that. One way or another, you were taught when your brain was stitching together that you ought to be happy that anybody loves you. You ought to be happy that anybody's showing interest in you. You ought to be happy that you even have an option. And that's not true. That's not true. We get to choose who we let into our energy field. We get to choose who it is that we share emotions with. This win at all costs with the five of swords, this is to the lovers, no less. This is saying, I'm grabbing on. I'm grabbing on. I'm ignoring my intuition. I don't see those red flags. La, 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 la. I don't see those red flags because I have the opportunity for love here and I'm not letting it go. I'm going to ignore those red flags. I'm going to ignore the bad behavior because, damn it, I'm grateful that I have someone. Fuck that. Screw all of that. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Trust me. I know. It is ridiculous. The Ace of Swords. Truth being spoken right here, right now on YouTube. <laughs> Truth being spoken to you. What's the truth? What is your clarity? What is your truth? Well, your truth is the Ten of Swords in reverse. All of your relationships are going to come to an inevitable ending if you can't be true to yourself. They're all going to come to an inevitable ending. If you keep compromising, win at all costs, well, at least I have somebody. I'd rather have somebody that treats me like shit than not have somebody at all. Why? 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 The Empress in reverse. This, there's two messages here, by the way. The Empress in reverse. This is your inability to create what it is that you want. What do you want? You want to be somebody's everything right? The queen of pentacles. You want a good, solid, long-term committed relationship that's not with a fuck boy or a fuck girl for that matter. And, and you're having a hard time creating it because all of your relationships come to an end because eventually even the most maniacal of people get tired of walking on the same doormat and they leave. Or you get so fed up and you have nothing else to give that they leave. And that's a bad way to be. It's a bad way to be. It's not fulfilling. It's not you leading the kind of life that, that you're capable of leading. Truth. Ten of Swords in reverse. Let's talk about it. The second perspective. This is regeneration and healing. The truth is when you understand and wrap your mind around what's being said here in this general reading, if you want to know your real story, you can hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. I would love to read your cards, especially about something like this. Um, um, regeneration and healing of what? The Empress in reverse, your sense of self-worth. 
The empress in reverse has no sense of self-worth. The empress in the upright has all the self-worth she possibly can handle, right? And what this is saying is that this truth will regenerate you and restore you and turn this empress in reverse from an inability to create to the upright into a position of self-worth. In the reverse, she's also about codependency. What's the codependency? Well, accepting anybody's bullshit just so you have somebody. That's like co serious codependency right there, right? So your truth is, is that this concept will regenerate you. It will heal you and it will teach you how to have some self-worth. The King of Wands. The King of Wands, the King of Wands. To the King of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. I'm going to ask a question about this real quick. Spirit, tell me about this King of Wands. Okay, who is this? What is this King of Wands? Is this talking about success? Yes. All right, I don't even need to clarify. This is talking about your success. This is saying, this is saying that when you wrap your mind around all of this, you will succeed and achieve in snagging you a King of Pentacles, a real, honest, mate, male or female, that believes in the institution of love, family, and marriage. A stable, tempered, secure person who is going to be like, unlike anybody you've ever met before. It's true. It's true. To the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles is about giving and receiving. But notice there, it's not equal right? The Six of Pentacles, I wish it was out here. Maybe it is. Maybe I can show you. The Six of Pentacles in my other deck is three pentacles on one side, three pentacles on the other side, and it's a family in the center that is it, that is sharing in wealth, right? This Six of Pentacles is almost, in, in my mind, the complete opposite because this is a guy that has more than these guys have, and he's trying to balance out the scales of justice and pay penance to those of lesser, and notice how these pentacles are not evenly distributed. What this is, is unequal give and take. For me as a reader in this deck, this card, it's unequal give and take. So what this is saying is that the, 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 the relationships that you've experienced in the past, where you're the giver and the other person is the taker, your success with the King of Wands will be a King of Pentacles type of mate. I also want to point out this King of Wands could be the kind of guy or woman, okay, that you are attracted to on the regular, right? Um, a fiery, e egocentric kind of person. And the King of Wands is, I mean, that's part of his beauty, right? Is the whole egocentric thing. Um, Anyway, so this King of Wands could be the kind of guy that you're attracting now or, or woman, person, the kind of person that you're attracting now. The King of Pentacles is who you will attract once you understand all of this. And the Six of Pentacles represents that it will no longer be unequal give and take. You will not be giving more than the other person is giving because the King of Pentacles gives equally. Temperance in reverse. This talks about the imbalance being healed to the King of Cups and ushering in solid, mature, grounded love. The Eight of Swords in your head thinking to the Empress in reverse. How are you going to change your sense of self-worth? How are you going to change that? Well, the tower is going to help you out with that. The tower comes in and says, how many times do we have to create an upheaval and a chaos in your life before you get the epiphany and go, oh, oh, I see why this keeps happening. That's the purpose of the tower. Without the awakening, it's just simply upheaval and chaos. The point of the upheaval and chaos is to create an awakening. 
the Empress in reverse. This is you still with uh, this is you still wondering, still not being sure about your sense of self worth. And the Tower comes in and says, "We're going to give you a little bit more upheaval and chaos. Maybe this time you'll get it. And if you don't get it, and you keep going, the Tower will happen again. If you don't get it, you're going to keep going. The Tower is going to happen again. The same damn Tower over and over and over again until you go, aha." You see, I see, and now I see what I have to do. I see. Five of Cups in reverse. Then and only then will you be able to move on from loss, grief, sorrow, and disappointment when it comes to relationships in your life. The Four of Cups in reverse. Your apathy to the Four of Pentacles, your way of going about things, to the nine of pentacles is going to end. It's going to end and you are going to transform into a place of self-sufficiency and independence. This nine of pentacles, she knows her self-worth. She knows her self-worth and she would never tolerate a fuck boy or a fuck girl. She would never. She just wouldn't. It's beyond her. She sees him coming from a mile away and she's like, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because the only person good enough for the Nine of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles, right? To the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is fantasy and illusion. Diversionary tactics. Let me clarify this. Oh, I forgot these right here. My bad. Uh, where did these go? It doesn't matter because we'll talk about those. It, it doesn't matter where they went in the story. And we're going to talk about them in a second because it's the same message no matter where we stick them. Okay. But I forget where they came from. I'm sorry. So I'm going to clarify the seven of cups in reverse. Diversionary tactics, fantasy, illusion, coming out of confusion to the two of cups. Beautiful. And this blends right into these two cards right here. These last two cards. So the two of cups. To the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, knowing your worth, self-sufficiency, independence, in bringing a cycle of your life to a conclusion, to a culmination. The Seven of Cups in reverse, talking about um, fantasy and illusion, right? Clearing up the fan. What's the fantasy and illusion? That, well, I'm going to accept whatever kind of behavior you give me because I got someone, right? Fantasy, illusion, not reality. That's not the way things go. The Two of Cups, a unified love relationship. The Two of Wands, your future to the Queen of Pentacles. When you understand the error of your ways, then and only then will a true unified Two of Cups relationship be able to manifest in your life to the two of wands, into your future. Only then will you be able to manifest into your future a true unified love relationship to the queen of pentacles. And only then will you truly be able to sit in the seat of the queen of pentacles to your king of pentacles and have the kind of love relationship that you not only want, but you deserve. High Priestess in reverse, right? Ignoring your intuition. The King of Cups when it comes to love. Ignoring your intuition when it comes to the, to the people that you allow in your life. Page of Cups in reverse. Blocking creation, right? Beginning to understand that you don't have to create with everybody that comes along. You don't have to. You have that prerogative. You do not have to create with every Joe Schmo or Jilly Willy that comes your way. You don't have to. You can pick and choose. Being alone ain't such a bad thing. Maybe you need a minute to be alone. Maybe if you spent some time alone instead of relationship hopping, not saying you are, but some of y'all do. Instead of relationship hopping, just sitting with yourself for a minute and figuring out why you don't have enough self-worth to choose carefully who it is that you share your energy with or not. 
to the sun. Happiness, success, and vitality, which is what was said way back here. Happiness, success, and vitality comes into your life when you get tired of your needs not being met. When you pry yourself loose from being stuck in a mental state that was trained in your brain way back before you even, before you even were conscious of what was happening. When you begin to understand that your needs not being met, being stuck in a mental state where you're willing to accept your needs not being met just simply so you can have someone in your life. When that stops, that's when real happiness, success, and vitality will come into your life. And that was your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.